During a meeting on engine building in Samara on September 5, 2025, President Vladimir Putin said that Russia is among the five world leaders in the production and development of rocket and aircraft engines. He emphasized that the number of aircraft engines delivered has multiplied in the past four years. He noted that the import substitution of the VK-650V engine for the Ansat helicopter and the PD-8 engine for the Sukhoi superjet is now complete. Putin added that these designs fully comply with international standards. He also stressed that Russia continues to be a leader in space propulsion. His statement shows that Russia's engine industry has changed a lot since 2021, especially under Western sanctions. Russia has increased the production of gas turbines and generators for big energy projects like Power of Siberia 2, built new partnerships, and achieved domestic goals to make up for the drop in exports. Putin's claim depends on the growth of aircraft engine production. To meet both military and civilian needs, United Engine Corporation, a Rostec subsidiary, has sharply increased serial production. Deliveries have grown over the past four years, especially where import substitution was urgent. The VK-650V, made for the Ansat light helicopter, has passed certification tests, replaced foreign power plants, and entered service with Russian operators. The PD-8, designed for the Sukhoi Superjet 100, has become Russia's answer to foreign dependence. Its fast rollout was celebrated as a model of technological sovereignty. Alongside the AL-31 and AL-41 fighter engines and the PD-14 for the MC-21, these advances back Putin's claim. UEC has also upgraded facilities in Rabinsk, Perm, and Samara to boost production, according to Russian industry sources. Russia's rocket engines remain a key part of its legacy. Moscow still makes engines such as the RD-107 and RD-108 for the Soyuz, and the RD-191 for the Angara family. Western programs have reduced Russian imports, but the United States once depended heavily on the RD-180. These engines are still in full serial production for Russia's own launch programs and for some foreign buyers who keep using Russian vehicles. Putin's claim that Russia maintains primacy in cosmonautics reflects the fact that no other country exports as many orbital launches with its own engines. The RD-191 in the Angara program and the planned Soyuz 5 project highlight how engines remain a global competition field, even though exports have declined. Gas turbines for power plants have also been central to Russia's progress. In the 2010s, the country relied heavily on Siemens and General Electric. Since 2022, the state pushed hard for domestic turbines and generators, achieving several milestones. In 2024, Rostec and Power Machines commissioned the GTD-110M, the first heavy Russian gas turbine to fully replace imports at the Udarnaya power station. That same year, they began supplying turbine units for compressor stations on the Power of Siberia 2 pipeline. These compressor stations are vital to move natural gas from Yamal to China and require powerful generator sets. UEC Salyut and Power Machines provided turbine generator packages of over 25 megawatts. Deliveries are strategically important, showing that Russia can equip mega projects that secure both revenue abroad and energy security at home. Once completed, Power of Siberia 2 will be one of the largest gas export pipelines in the world, and its reliability will rest on these domestic turbine complexes. In this setting, UEC announced the PD-26 engine project. It is a derivative of the PD family and will serve as both an aviation engine and a gas generator for energy and industry. The PD-26 has a flexible structure making it easier to use in large turbines for electricity, pipelines, and even ships. Engineers want to cut costs, unify maintenance, and shorten timelines by adapting a civil aviation engine for dual use. Analysts describe the project as a practical answer to sanctions, ensuring that aviation research also benefits the energy sector.
the PD-26 could become the base for new aircraft and for powerful turbines in projects such as Power of Siberia 2, extending the utility of the PD family across sectors. Alongside big engines, Russia has also focused on small propulsion systems. Domestic factories have increased the output of piston engines for drones and trainer aircraft. Reports show that Russia still imports small Chinese engines through indirect channels. These parallel imports cover short-term needs, while the long-term policy still aims at localization and substitution. Putin's confidence also rests on many ongoing programs. The PD-35 is a heavy engine for future large aircraft. Upgraded versions of the PD-8 and PD-14 are being developed to improve reliability and efficiency. Since 2014, after breaking from Ukrainian suppliers, Russia has been designing advanced naval gas turbines. The industry is also working on next-generation turbines in the 120 to 170 megawatt class, suited for power stations and massive pipeline compressors like those of Power of Siberia 2. Rostec says these projects will use 3D printing and AI-based diagnostics to improve durability, efficiency, and output. Putin's Samara statement sums up Russia's position. The country has doubled aircraft engine deliveries. It has completed import substitution in key programs like the VK-650V and PD-8. It has kept leadership in space propulsion, and it has secured domestic capacity in gas turbines, despite sanctions and falling Western markets. The turbine generator units for Power of Siberia 2 are a strategic example that mixes industry and energy policy. The PD-26 adds to this story by showing Russia's intent to unify its aerospace and energy sectors under one technology base. Overall, Putin's reasoning has support. Russia remains a global leader in engine design and production. Yet challenges remain. Production must keep scaling to meet domestic and export demand. Quality control must be kept high on new indigenized models. And Russia must compete with Western and Asian firms that innovate quickly. The real test will be whether flagship projects like the PD-26, PD-35, and new heavy turbines reach international standards and full serial production. For now, Russia has enough evidence to claim, as Putin did in Samara, that it has maintained and even strengthened its global standing in aircraft, rocket, and gas turbine engines over the past four years. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.